All right, everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you're very well aware of things like AI and ChatGPT. Um, but what you might not be aware of, sort of how you can utilize these models uh, in your business um, to really save you time and uh, make your company leaner and more efficient. Um, and that's sort of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm going to be sharing how you can eliminate so many of these needless tasks, uh, meetings, calls, where you're sort of repeating the same information over and over again. Um, and it sort of saves you time, allowing you to focus on the more human tasks. Um, and I think that's uh, what you need to leverage with AI is save your time on the needless stuff so you can focus on the more human things that AI can't replace. Um, and what I'm going to be building with you today is a persona chatbot. Before we delve into the benefits of these chatbots, um, I'll sort of explain how they work. Um, the way I like to imagine them is uh, basically they're like a pizza. Um, you have the base, which is these large language models by uh, like ChatGPT, um, which are trained on sort of the entirety of the internet. Um, but what that means is they can be very generic, some of the answers. Um, but what we try and do is um, build these persona chatbots, which are trained specifically on your data, um, which is sort of the toppings, uh, so to speak, going back to the analogy. Um, but what that does is it trains the model specifically on your data, which means it has a better understanding of your clients, your products, your culture, your offerings, um, so to speak. So you don't get those generic answers, which are sort of irrelevant to your, your business. So by integrating the AI uh, and these large language models with your specific data, um, you can make it so much more personalized and really work for you. You know, it, it's extending your knowledge um, and allowing your knowledge and your resources to be 24 seven and have that personal touch, which is uh, what your customers will want. Um, the applications I think for these um, Persona chatbots are endless and I think in the future, you're going to have sort of AI board of directors. Um, that's where I see this going. You know, you can, let's have, say you're an investment firm. It would make sense for you to have a Warren Buffett AI chatbot, right? And it, it's sort of a second opinion. You know, it has all the books and sort of the knowledge of Warren Buffett. And you ask, ask the chatbot, uh, what do you make of this investment? And the chatbot would give you sort of, uh, opinion sort of based off Warren Buffett, how he would see it, how he would value the company. And it gives you that second opinion, I think. And you can see this in investing, in marketing, in sales, in all these key aspects of your business. It's going to, I think, eventually you'll have a board of directors that will give you a second opinion and it's specialized in those specific areas. Uh, so, yeah, so today I'm going to sort of uh, be building uh, a persona chatbot based off the All In podcast, uh, which is an incredible podcast. I watch it religiously um, and it's definitely something you should watch uh, if you don't already. Uh, but basically it's um, Jamath Polyapatir, David Sachs, David Freeberg, Jason Kalasa Kalasanis. And uh, I'm just going to build out a chatbot um, and sort of show you how I do that. Uh, fill it with the knowledge of the podcast and then I'm going to be asking it a few questions bit of advice and see what see what the outcome of that is the thing you're going to want to do is to go on to stack AI and um, sign in if you have an account or if not um, go and create an account you can create a free account I think for one project um, so yeah that's the first step and then you should um, want to start you want to start a new project and uh and this is the sort of setup i have so let me just uh hopefully you can see it um but you have an input which is sort of the question um and then you have the knowledge base which i use documents um you can use a variety of different ways but i find documents to be the best i think if you do sort of live uh websites or videos uh, links or that like directly um, from YouTube uh, which you can do I find them just not to be as ineffective and I find it to be a lot slower uh, you just have a lot more control when it's uh, documents over 
you can sort of edit things, add things, uh, remove things that are sort of irrelevant, uh, giving you a lot more control. So as you can see, I've got sort of uh, from episode 30 to 39, um, all in documents, all transcripted. Um, then you have the prompt up here uh, using the chat GBT 3.5 turbo model. Um, and then this is the sort of prompt you sort of say you are representing a group known as the besties. The besties are four capitalists called and go for the names. You give some of the extra prompts sort of what you want it to say, what it can't say. Um, I'll sort of go for it now with you. So yeah, you were on a all in podcast, talk about um, what they talk about. Um, what's the goal? So the goal is to sort of inform people. Um, you ask question that you'll be asked question. You provide answer based off the documents you've been provided. Um, sort of things you can't say. You know, uh, don't directly quote. Um, act as if you already know the knowledge. Um, the length. You can know. You go into as much detail as possible. Um, and yeah, that's sort of how you want to prompt it. Um, and then this is sort of basically what we've been saying. Vector zero, which is the document. Is it somewhere? Where is it? Oh, yeah. So this is um, sort of how it's programmed and based off the input there. And oh, I'll show you this. We've got an output here, which sort of um, this um, collects all the relevant data so the question being asked was i asked about the ripple case um and then it's sort of collected all the data out the ripple case from the documents put it into different chunks then that that's fed into the model and then it comes out with um the answer there in the output um so i'm going to show you how you i collect the data next so obviously this is on YouTube um, and then all you want to do is to collect um, this one, this is episode 29, is copy the link and then you can either go to sort of the basic uh, YouTube transcriber um, and paste that in and it will give you sort of a uh, full transcript um, but because it's four people I'd prefer to um, um, use um, Fireflies uh, which is a really good AI tool um, which you can use to sort of um, in your meeting notes it sort of transcribes your meeting notes which is very um, good for businesses uh, but I find it's a voice analyzer very good so it will um, listen to the podcast um, highlight four uh, different voices and then from that uh, you can just add in the names of the speakers, the four speakers and uh, then get it in a document format. Uh, once you have your documents uh, it's very easy uh, you go down to this document tab here and uh, simply press upload and it will upload them into um, your stack AI. Um, I, you can use this directly but I f prefer to use BotPress for my front end uh, which I'll show now. Um, yeah, you, first you want to just log into BotPress, uh, get an account and then you're going to want something similar to this. Start uh, first message uh, main loop. This is this main loop is sort of the main feature. It's this main uh, feedback loop you ask a question um, it sends it gets sends that question to stack AI um, and then you get the response and then it says do you have another question and then you get this constant feedback loop um, the code um, although it may seem complicated I'm no technical expert um, you can use ChatGPT to generate all your code. Um, just give it a very clear um, messages of how to program, of what you want, and it will um, produce the code um, in JavaScript exactly. All that's all you need. 
just um, do a clear clear statement, explain your variables, explain what you want, and it will come up with the answer, um, the, the code that's required. Um, yeah, this is this is the main loop, um, and there's so many things you can add to BotPress, which is why I really like it. You can add your Zapier, you could add credits, you could add Google Sheets or contact form, um, and then you can really start to expand it. You could have, um, let's say, an e-com store, you find out people's name, um, you send those names directly to um, using the Zapier um, webhook, it connects the names, records them in a Google Sheet, then you send them an automated email, uh, stuff like that. So it can be really useful uh, for businesses to sort of automate all of that. Um, but I'll now sort of show you uh, what it looks like uh, once completed. So it's very easy to publish. You just click the publish button in the top right there. Okay, so um, just put hi, um, how are you doing, how can we help you, and let's ask away some questions. Okay, uh, is the all in podcast entertaining? Let's see what it comes up with. Absolutely, the All In Podcast is known for its entertaining and engaging discussions on venture capital, tech, finance and current events. We bring together a unique blend of humour, insight and perspectives. Great answer. Okay, let's ask it. Uh, let's ask it about um, inflation. What are your views on inflation? And how do you see it trending in the future? Okay, let's see what it says. Inflation is expected to be a little stickier on the way down. Rates to remain higher for a longer period. However, it's important to note that the risks for the current economy are currently balanced. Factors such as unemployment rates and inflation levels will play a significant role in determining the future of inflation. Okay, let's uh, change it up. Let's ask for some advice. Can you give me some advice uh, as a young entrepreneur? young entrepreneur this is the advice as a young entrepreneur my advice would be to focus on gaining experience learning from the trenches consider joining a starting your own company or joining a high growth company um, venture capital might not be best path initially as it's first to uh, learn your skills uh, before offering advice to founders build your skills learn from failure and develop your character and reputation remember failure is part of the process so be persistent through challenges and stay focused on the goals. So great, great advice uh, there. Uh, let's ask it about Italy. I know they were all there recently. What are your opinions on Italy? Italy is an incredible country known for its hospitality and beautiful locations. Uh, the quality of Italian white wine is outstanding. Great destination for adults to go on vacation. A wonderful, we had a wonderful time there during Chamath's wedding. So another um, great response. Um, let's ask it about threads. Uh, what do you make of threads? as a product
All right, so it says here this is coming from, from Chamath. Threads is an interesting product that says uh, Meta as a competitive to Twitter, competition to Twitter. It's important to for Facebook to continuously innovate and come up with new features that um, can attract users and differentiate differentiate themselves from uh, competition like Twitter. However, it remains to be seen whether Threads will be able to offer any unique or compelling experience that will make people switch. So a good um, good analysis there. You can sort of see how this could benefit, um, be beneficial for a company. You can either down, downstream it to um, any customers you have. Um, let's say you run a course. Um, instead of them having like a weekly uh, meeting where they get to ask you questions, you could provide them with this sort of chatbot and then they could ask... Uh, you directly uh, the chatbot questions and then anything the chatbot doesn't answer um, they can ask on the weekly meeting or something like that um, it just saves so much time um, obviously any advice or questions or queries people have they can ask the bot and then you know when they ask you that they're asking the more in-depth questions and um, that's where you can come in so I hope that's given you a, a bit of an insight into um, AI and how you can use a Persona chatbot. So I do think that every um, influencer, or podcast, or a coach, or store is going to have these uh, types of uh, chatbots because um, they do provide so much value, especially when you start to add uh, automations on top of them. Um, but yeah, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. And I'll leave a link for all the softwares that I've used in the description. Um, otherwise, uh, that's all for me and enjoy the rest of your week.